Yo, the guy just came out of the uh, the grass fields. <laughs> Seven, sixty-eight. Uh. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of JB360. Today, I have the return of my infamous 72 volt X-Class. Me and the boys over at E Street Bikes decided let's make an upgrade. So I decided to upgrade to the 5000 watt uh, MB Power Motor Kit, the Fat Tire Kit, as well as a 150 amp Sabaton controller, full frame battery bag for the X-Class. Uh, this is about 46 amp hours of Molly Cell, and we have that parallel to the Samsung Shark Pack, which is about 10 amp hours, which totals to uh, about 56 amp hours. Uh, there has been quite a few changes to the bike overall. Um, I mean, let's start with the headlight. The headlight is probably the most recognizable thing that that has changed since my last setup and probably the best looking thing <laughs> one of the best looking things on the bike um this is a motorcycle style headlight i'll put the link in the description below uh, where you can get one but we basically just took the headlight uh spliced out the old wiring and then connected it to the dc converter kit uh to power the light and it does actually have these are the daytime running lights and it also has a high beam version as well. So if I click there, there's the high beams right there. Amazing, amazing. Also upgraded the tires uh, with the new motor kit comes uh, new speeds that we're uh, approaching. So we definitely need something that can handle it. So decided to get these uh, dual sport moto tires. Uh, these are Kenda Cruisers, I believe. I forget the size, but I could put the link in the description below if you're interested in buying them. But uh, I have to give a big shout out to Anas Anchuri on Instagram. He's the guy with the 72 volt Grizzly over in Brooklyn. And he uh, suggested these tires. Although they were a bitch to get in, uh, they, I have to say they look quite nice. And they're very, very cushy on the road. Another noticeable change is we switched the placement of the controller and the Samsung Shark. So uh, before the Shark was located underneath the seat here and the controller was over here in its own sort of like bag slash container. So we decided to put the controller under here, mount it under the seat, uh, gives it more of a cleaner look and uh, put the Shark over here, kind of giving it that like sort of like tank look, but at the same time, um, serving its purpose uh, and it actually makes things easier uh, when linking up the batteries when paralleling when paralleling them uh, they're very close together so you're not having to get extensions or you know try to figure out how to wire things so I, I believe it gives it a more discreet look gives it a more cleaner look uh, rather than before having everything in the bag this makes things kind of easier to to access if need be and uh, let me show you guys the uh, full frame battery bag and if I didn't mention this before, the full frame battery comes courtesy of Powerful Lithium. Uh, they did a great job with this pack in terms of sizing it. As I'll show you guys right here, we got the DC converter kit in here, as well as the other wiring. But the way that they had shaped the battery, it actually gave space uh, to put um, a lot of the other components on this side of the bag. I know it's kind of a rat's nest, but honestly, it was a lot better than when we had the original tank bag over here. Um, it's just a lot more accessible and you don't have to go digging your fingers through the small bag trying to like find the, you know, the brake wire or, you know, the, the throttle sensor and stuff like that. So this makes things a lot easier. Big shout out to V for making that space in the battery bag. Yeah, it definitely helps a whole lot. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see here, but what we did was we created two a two torque arm setup on each side 
So we have the main bolt here, and then we have one of the torque arms situated here, and then another one here, and this kind of like acts as a support. Uh, so it's almost like a like a three-way torque arm situation. And you can see over here, did the same thing. It's slightly different. Dropout holes will over here, dropout holes over here, and all coupled with the main bolt over here. So yeah it was a combination really of three torque arms to uh really really keep this thing secure um you know preventing the wheel from spinning out or even cutting the motor wire if anybody is interested if they're upgrading to the 5000 watt kit definitely definitely inquire about the double torque arm setup highly recommended all right anyways let's uh go ahead and test the bike out for the first time a few moments later all right guys i actually had to uh head back home for a little doggo emergency doggy emergency but uh, i am back and we can finally do our top speed test my shipment also came in uh for these cool uh batman mirrors big shout out to uh gabriel over in uh, fresno california uh, he has a YouTube, and uh, he put these uh, mirrors on his uh, Rumble uh, Rumble bike. I believe it's the Air SS, and uh, I just thought they looked really cool aesthetically. So uh, yeah, I decided to add them to my bike, and they came in the uh, gold colorways as well, which is really nice. So we're gonna take this road. Uh, which is known as South Avenue. It's like a long stretch of road. Pretty, pretty much cars go like 50 plus miles an hour on here. So uh, I'm gonna take that route over here. All right, so word of advice, when you do get your kit, make sure you set the wheel diameter to 18 inches. Uh, you will get the most accurate reading uh, in terms of uh, speedometer numbers. So just a word of advice uh, when setting your display up. Sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, uh, seventy. Miles. <laughs> So uh, I learned that uh, you kind of have to uh, ease into the throttle a bit because uh, if you just uh, crack crack the throttle, uh, the bike lifts up about like <laughs> seven inches, eight inches off the ground. It's kind of insane. This car is going really fast too. So if you guys notice, uh, I don't have the 360 camera at the moment. I actually had, uh, I had dropped it uh, about a week ago. It's kind of a nasty little, uh, little fall. Well, I didn't fall, but the camera fell. It was uh, in my pocket while I was recording the review for the uh, Velotrick Discover 1. It was so stupid though. I had it literally right in my like pouch pocket here. And it, it literally like, I hit a bump and the thing just kind of like fell and uh, landed right on the screen. So luckily I have that uh, Insta360 Care like warranty thing. Uh, is the 360 care warranty uh which i think allows for like one repair even if it's like i guess like non 
non-human made error or some shit like that. So, uh, yeah, I am uh, glad that I got that with my purchase. So I'm able to, what the heck? Yo, the guy just came out of the, uh, the grass fields. <laughs> So yeah, I am currently using actually a um, GoPro Hero 9, which is not too bad. I've, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, got the Enduro battery, got the uh, extra, uh, was it 1700 milliamp hour batteries as well. But anyways, in terms of the, uh, the bike, my gosh, this thing is uh, really a beast. And, uh, the setup is just so quiet too, you know, like very little sound. It's just literally just the wind like whisping in your ear. But um, yeah, it's it's great. You know, with the new battery setup, I'm also going to be doing a range test at some point. Um, probably head out to to Brooklyn and uh, meet up with my my good friend Anas. He's the guy with the. Uh, the 72 volt grizzly grizzly setup and uh he has about i think like 50 amp hours on his his bike so uh we will do a little range test maybe we'll head out to the south shore of like uh long island since we're already in south brooklyn man it hits it hits 50 miles an hour so quick like that was like maybe about like three seconds and richmond ab is a very 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 fast road over here so most of the cars here are going like you know 50 55 but man this thing is uh this thing is amazing so yeah let me know guys what you think of the uh 5000 watt kit in the comments below and you know let me know if you're you're looking to get it looking to upgrade uh your x class um i mean for sure the x class and a lot of people have like concerns about it like i had my 3000 watt kit um on my bike for over a year maybe close to a year and a half and i had no issues with like frame rattle and stuff like that it, it was solid and i only had one torque arm on each side so if you know any anyone is concerned about you know uh you know can it handle it and stuff like that yeah it definitely can you you definitely need torque arms for sure <laughs> especially on aluminum frames we're actually gonna go return a uh aftermarket throttle i bought this um this gold like this gold plated throttle from amazon but um i should have read more of the reviews because it's um it's not really i'll say it's not really that compatible well it's not actually it's not compatible at all with this bike at least with the um the type of throttle uh throttle wire it uses it uses like a it has like a three piece three speed control over here there's like three switches like i guess like slow medium fast it was nice too it had like a it had a voltmeter as well on it built-in voltmeter and um yeah it's just uh it was not um working out with the uh the throttle wire i also got an upcoming video i'm going to show you guys uh basically a little uh gps security device that i've had for i would say almost two years now <laughs> And uh, I've been wanting to kind of uh, showcase it to you guys. So there's going to be a review uh, coming up for that, that device soon. Ugh. This thing weighs about 100 and 150, 160 pounds to get another look at it with the Batman style mirrors. I like it. I like it a lot. This headlight is bright, man. I don't know how many, I forget how many lumens it is, but it's uh, definitely very, very visible at night. I gotta tighten these up too. There's like a, uh, a mount here that you just kind of like clamp further together. There's like another another tightening setting over here. So I gotta secure that. Cause I'm hitting the bumps. It's kind of like jiggling obviously. So this is the, uh, throttle i was talking about this is actually not gold it says gold on the site but look it's i don't know if you guys can see in the camera it's like a it's like a copper orange looking thing and this is the three speed control here and this uh wiring was not compatible at all we thought it would be but 
it was just not taking. How fast did that thing go? Oh, this one was about 70. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, it's like... It's all electric. All electric, yeah. It's like a... Oh, yeah, it's legal. <laughs> Yeah, as long as you are not like reckless and stuff, you know, yeah. like I just use it to go to the city a lot, you know. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I but, mean, my husband rides a motorcycle, but right. I feel like that's a little bit more like <laughs> environmentally friendly. Right, right. And it's it's quiet too. You don't really hear. There's no like motor exhaust or anything. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, take care. So for those of you who don't have the kit and are looking to get it, it has a great feature here where once you lock the bike, and you try to move it. You try to move it again. The wheel will lock up right here. So it will not move if you try to like run off with it. So definitely a good uh, definitely a good security feature. What you gotta love about Coles is that they offer returns without you having to actually package the product up. They pack it for you, which is super convenient. Just return this. All right, appreciate it, thank you. All right, bike is still there. Yep, bike is still there. In terms of range, I'm not sure what numbers I'll get. Um, I mean, we were, we were burning through some, some, some high speed runs uh, the past hour now. So yeah, I think once I, balance the cells out more uh, I'll get better numbers all right guys well you know it was a little bit of a short video today but I uh, thought I'd give you my first impressions of the bike uh, and uh, do some top speed runs just to can get an idea of the performance of the bike uh, in case any of you guys are looking into purchasing uh, so yeah if you guys like what you saw be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel and uh yeah we will catch you guys on the next one peace y'all